Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Andrew Warren, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about some more Tesla news. Now, this one is actually pretty interesting. It's aside from all of the things we've talked about recently, such as whether it's sales numbers, new job listings, gigafactory progress, and things like that. This is actually in a very different realm. And honestly, this news is in a whole nother sector as well. It's not in the vehicle business. It's not in the energy business. This is actually something completely different, and it relates a little bit more to what SpaceX is doing so this is a really interesting one and just checking out this stock out of curiosity for today we actually had another red day for Tesla and it's currently at $1,414.37 per share so as this keeps dropping down and pulling back a little bit I have to admit it's becoming pretty attractive even more. Now, most of you that are familiar with my channel already know, right now I don't have any money to invest. I'm paying off my credit card, and then by the time of late next month, I should have some money to put into the stock market. But if I did have some money right now, I would probably consider buying it at this point at the low 1400s. I feel like this is a pretty decent price, but keep in mind, it could always pull back more in the future, or for all we know, it could skyrocket even more at this point. And this could be the lowest point for Tesla from now on. You never know. That's just how the stock market is. But I just wanted to break down the stock for today really quick for those interested. Like I said, a red day for us. It's down 2.32% for the normal market hours. And then in the after hours as well, it's down 0.34%. So there is a pullback happening with Tesla right now, it seems. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out this article. And as always, if you all do appreciate the Tesla news, then please make sure to smash that like button. It really does help me out and it also helps with the YouTube algorithm. But jumping into this article today, this is another one by Electric and also thank you to this website and Fred Lambert for the information. One of my favorite websites for sure. But starting off with the article title, it states Tesla adds spaceship to future potential products to work on for its designers. So with this article alone, this really gets me excited. Now we'll get into the in-depth details in just a second, but just the fact alone that Tesla is getting involved in spaceship design, whether it's collaborating with SpaceX or doing their own thing. Now I do believe there was one point where Tesla either had some blueprints or some writing on a potential aircraft product in the future. So I feel like as Tesla progresses over time and starts to get down most of their basic models about anything that you would need in terms of a ground vehicle, then I really do think that they will eventually expand to either aircraft or collaborate with SpaceX on spacecraft. I could see them still working on the ground vehicles right now. And then when it starts getting near to the Mars mission, then I could see Tesla honestly collaborating on the design of that. Just because the engineers over at Tesla are very well known for creating some really revolutionary compact designs. For example, Elon Musk has talked about some of their designs, whether it's the factory layout and organization or the vehicle layout and component organization, there's always that analogy of it being a circuit board where everything has its own little place, it fits perfectly, and it does its own job in a very efficient manner. So that's one thing the Tesla engineers are very well known for, and that is mainly because Tesla has a really solid reputation in terms of revolutionary design. So with all of these new engineers coming out of college, and especially the big name colleges as well, a lot of them are gravitated towards Tesla because they know that's where the magic is happening. That's where big things are happening right now so Tesla does have that natural attraction for those engineers that are interested in actually making a difference in the world so honestly with this title alone it does get me excited whether it's collaboration with SpaceX or if it's them doing their own aircraft or spacecraft eventually far on in the future but regardless this gets me excited but anyways let's check out the rest of this article and then we'll discuss it a little bit more as it states right here Tesla hints at more SpaceX collaboration as it adds the word spaceship to future potential products to work on for its future designers. And it says, we recently reported on how Tesla and SpaceX have been ramping up synergy with more workers moving between the companies and more equipment purchases between the two. Now Tesla is hinting at continued operation between the two companies. And then it states, in a new senior vehicle designer role listed on its career website, hat tip to user T does stuff, Tesla mentioned spaceship design as a potential task. And this is a quote right here stating, using your considerable production design experience and innovative thinking, you will primarily be tasked with creating designs for future cars, but may also be called upon for other design tasks, such as product design, spaceship 
design, etc. based on your skill set. Our design team prides itself on being multi-talented and flexible, and we look for the same in our potential candidates. You will report to the senior manager of vehicle design, and this position resides in Tesla's design studio in Hawthorne, California. So just on this quote alone and what we've seen in this article so far, Tesla is looking for engineers that are willing to work for not only just Tesla, but also maybe helping out with SpaceX design as well when it comes to actual spaceship design. So we could see engineers from Tesla potentially playing a role in the spaceship that will be going to Mars, or maybe it's just other designs that may help out with more efficiency with the Starlink launches where they can actually launch more than like 120 satellites at once, whether it's improvements to help with that, or if it's just simply design improvements that can help more with SpaceX. This is still really Really cool to me because not only does it tell me that there is collaboration happening between SpaceX and Tesla, but as these people gain more experience in the space realm of things, that gives me some ideas further on. So let's say Tesla does eventually try to create its own aircraft or maybe even spacecraft, and we're not talking about this in terms of collaboration with SpaceX. We're talking about pretty much Tesla doing all of this on their own as part of their brand, and then maybe they get some help with some SpaceX engineers and things like that, but mainly just a Tesla product. Now keep in mind, with these people having experience with collaboration with SpaceX in the past with what they're talking about with this article, then it means they're likely going to be more knowledgeable and not make as many mistakes compared to if they had never worked on the design with SpaceX in the past like what it's talking about right here. So basically I'm saying this experience that they're going to get from this design right now could be beneficial farther on in the future if Tesla decides to make its own aircraft product or even spacecraft product. And there's a YouTuber named Hyperchange that I believe did a video about an aircraft about the Tesla aircraft and I think there's even a Wikipedia for it maybe but what I'm saying here is once these engineers get that experience in collaboration with SpaceX they can take that knowledge back to Tesla and maybe some of that knowledge will give them some new ideas and be beneficial just in vehicle design alone whether it's just motors and way to use physics in a different way so like I said it can not only be beneficial for developing an aircraft for Tesla or a spacecraft for Tesla but it could be helpful just in the vehicles alone so what I think Elon Musk is looking for here is just people that could be a renaissance man or a renaissance woman that can not only be effective with learning and perfecting the engineering for Tesla products, but also for the SpaceX products as well. So I love to see this collaboration between Tesla and SpaceX. And for me, it's noting a lot of potential in the future of the products to come. So just getting farther into this article, it states the position is based at Tesla's Hawthorne Design Studio, which is directly next door to SpaceX's headquarters. So that once again points at this collaboration happening here. And it also states this mention in the new job listing comes as SpaceX is developing Starship, a fully reusable super heavy lift launch vehicle and large capacity spacecraft. It is expected to be the vehicle that SpaceX will use to colonize Mars and CEO Elon Musk has talked about using the spacecraft for extremely fast travel on Earth from and to different spaceports. And if Tesla ends up designing some features for the new spaceship, it wouldn't be the first Tesla products inside the vehicle. So keep in mind where they launched the astronauts to the space station most recently earlier this year, we had a little bit of Tesla promotion going on where the astronauts were riding in the Tesla vehicles. I believe they were like white Tesla Model Ys. So there was a little bit of promotion and advertisement there that was at no cost to Tesla. So there's a lot of benefits for these two companies collaborating consistently, and especially with Elon Musk being the CEO of both of them. So in the future, there's a lot of potential for more Tesla promotion as well with Starship. For one thing, they could say the reason this was possible is because of Tesla engineers and design. And that's like a little bit of shout out or promotion to Tesla as well but it could even go as far as Tesla actually putting like their brand name logo on the Starship like with the collaboration between SpaceX and NASA so there could be a little bit of self-promotion there completely free just because there is this collaboration between these two companies and Elon Musk owns both of them so there's really no one saying you can't put your brand on my brand or you can't put this on this so there's really a huge benefit to where it's almost like vertical integration it's not necessarily vertical integration but it's almost like vertical integration on demand where if you actually need some outside help you can say okay let's go ahead and talk to some of these Tesla engineers they know what they're doing maybe they can help us out with the spacecraft or teach us something so there is a little bit of vertical integration I guess you could call it not necessarily like your typical vertical integration but basically if you need a little bit of outside help instead of having to jump through all of these hoops all Elon Musk has to do is hit up his other design team from the other company and say would you guys like to help out on this it'd be really valuable so there is some really cool aspects to both of these companies collaborating 
and I love to see it personally. But anyways, I just wanted to share this video with you all. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to smash that like button and also feel free to sign up to Robinhood and Webull in the description below. If you sign up with my referral link, then you can get some free stocks. Here are a few examples of some free stocks I've gotten recently. Shout out to all of you all that have been using my referral link. I actually got like three free stocks yesterday, so you all have been going crazy on the referral link and I appreciate it. And also for Webull right now, they have a huge promotion where you can get up to 60 free stocks depending on how much you deposit. So that's actually really nice passive income. But I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week.